Hi, my name is Rick Olderman. I'm a physical therapist here at Body and Balance Physical Therapy in Denver, Colorado. And today's tip is about a bicep curl. A bicep curl is a common exercise that almost everyone does in their workout routines. And I just wanted to talk to you about some things to think about to make sure that you're not hurting your shoulder or hurting your neck when you're doing a bicep curl. So here it is. Basically, when a lot of people do a bicep curl, um, uh, they allow the shoulder to come forward like this as the arm is lowering. And so the shoulder is moving back and forward and back and forward. And what this does is it generates a lot of tension on the front of the uh, shoulder as well as up into the uh, neck region here. So we want to make sure that the shoulder is staying in a neutral position at all times. It doesn't have to be way back and it doesn't have to be way forward. It just needs to be in a comfortable relaxed position. So the way to find that is if you just put the weight down and let your arm rest down by your side, it should rest roughly in the center of your, of your trunk here. So then if you pick up the weight, that really shouldn't change that, how that arm is resting in the center of your truck, trunk. So then you do your biceps curl, the shoulder doesn't really move, all right? So that's one tip uh, that I see pretty frequently in the gym. The second problem I see is that uh, a lot of people, when they do their biceps curls, they end up doing it like this, all right? And the weight never actually comes all the way down by their side to lengthen the biceps curl. We want that lengthening because we don't want the biceps to uh, remain contracted all the time and the elbow slightly bent because that creates a lot of stress at the shoulder, elbow, and wrist if that happens. So our biceps curl exercises should allow the elbow to straighten. Now if that's painful for your elbow, well then it's likely that your weight may be too big or you have other wrist or elbow issues at the root here. But I just want you to know that if you just allow the arm to do this as you do this, it will create a lot of problems in the front of the shoulder and uh, may cause excessive contraction at the elbow joint and the biceps muscle. So the last thing I wanted to talk about with the biceps curl is, especially if you're doing a double hand biceps curl, is that a lot of times I see people's trunk contracting down to do the biceps curl. So the trunk has come forward like this and so it's depressing the rib cage, all right, and then it causes the neck to have to look up more. All right, which ex extends the cervical spine. And again, once again, the arm is never really fully uh, straightening, and it's also likely that the shoulder is coming forward. So a lot of cueing I do is I have people lift their rib cage prior to doing the biceps curl. Then we get a weight where they can successfully keep the rib cage up as the weight is lowering, and you keep the arm in a nice neutral position while the rib cage is up, and your biceps is happy, your shoulder is happy, your neck is happy, your posture is happy, Everybody's happy with a nice bicep curl with the appropriate amount of weight and the appropriate amount of range of motion. So good luck with that. I hope that helps.